Welcome back to Pink or Tarot. My name is Z and this is a general love reading for all Leos for November 2019. Keep in mind these messages are very, very general. They may or may not resonate with everyone watching. So if they do resonate with you, feel free to give the video a thumbs up. Also leave a nice comment below and subscribe so you won't miss any more readings. Also, I will, I'm going to stop putting the, the month in the title of my video so this one won't be um dated for november 2019 so you know whenever someone is led to watch a video or if the title kind of resonates with you maybe there's a message you know in this reading for you so leos let's get right into your reading also if you're new to my channel i'm using the will of the year tarot deck to clarify the romance angel cards so um leos you guys have soulmates so it says yes this is your soulmate so um clearly you know you guys have been interacting with your soulmate or it's like you know or have met your soulmate already um for some of you guys it's like you're not um actually together with your soulmate but you know them but with this judgment card it's like someone came to the real realization that this is their soulmate or it's like someone's making a major decision um you know something dealing with their soulmate or they had to make a major decision to be with their soulmate or something so that could be um you leo are the person that you guys are dealing with maybe they came to a realization that you are their soulmate so you guys also have finances and career with the sun card. So it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So Leo, some of you guys, so I feel like this is just you, Leo, plain and clear. Like something's going on with your finances or your career or both, but it's affecting your love life right now. So you guys also have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents with the Knight of Pentacles. So with this, um, <clears throat> so I really think that this is like you. So this could be some Leos as the Knight of Pentacles. Like, you know, the Knight of Pentacles moves slow. It's like he's thinking things out really carefully. So maybe this is... Um, some Leo's way of um, kind of healing a family issue. It's almost like something that happened like within generations of your family where maybe things are being rushed. Maybe people rush into like marriage or something like that. But it's almost like by you healing this family issue, it's like you're moving slow, thinking things out before you jump into like the next relationship or, um, or even marriage if you're in a committed relationship already this is just like you being more um responsible also too um when it comes towards your love life so it's like you're actually healing a family issue something an issue that happens in your family or that has been happening in your family for a long time And you guys also have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others with the star scar. So simply, I mean, some of you guys could have an Aquarius friend that's helping you in some way. And this could also be just you, like your friends are helping you. This could also be something spiritual too with the stars card. But it's almost like maybe your friends helped you, um, like find someone in some way with the stars card so let's get into the tarot spread real quick so we have the magician card the ace of rods the page of pentacles the queen of rods the four of rods the nine of swords the page of rods the star card again and then the four of cups so leo's I really do feel like you guys have your eye on someone. I feel like this is kind of like going back to, I think it was like a reading I did in August. It was like someone being obsessed with someone. 
I don't know, I'll leave the video in this, um, in the description box of this video. But this, I feel like this is like coming back to this. So we had the magician card being the first card of your reading. So it's like you guys are taking action towards, I feel like you guys are taking action towards a person. Or this could be someone taking action towards you, Leo. But I feel like the magician card is you, Leo. It's like you guys are taking action towards someone. And, um, you know, with this Ace of Rods too, this is like, you know, the fiery, um, this is like a new passionate beginning. So I feel like you guys want to offer someone a new beginning or like a new passionate beginning. You want to start something new with someone with this Ace of Rods. And it's like you guys have your eye on someone because we have the Page of Cups. This is like a secret admirer or like a crush. So I feel like you guys have your eye on someone and it's like you're taking action towards them. So maybe you want to... This Page of Cups is also like a surprise love news too. So it's like you guys want to pop up on them or something like <laughs> With this Page of Cups. So we also have the Queen of Rods. So... This card always reminds me of Beyonce. I don't know why, but she just kind of reminds me of Beyonce. So, I mean, you guys could be dealing with a fire sign or this could be you, Leo. But it's like you guys are really confident, you know, whether you're male or female. It's like the queen of rods. She's really confident, um, really attractive. So maybe some you guys have your eye on someone who's like really confident, attractive, like fiery, almost like kind of feisty. Um with this queen of rods and so maybe you guys want to offer them some kind of commitment and this is like something built on a solid foundation or this um four of rods has a foundation so i feel like this could be the start of something new for you but it's like you want to offer this person like some kind of commitment leos with the four of rods being in the middle of your reading but Leo's like I feel like some someone's scared. Someone has anxiety. It's almost like this person makes you anxious or somebody has anxiety about maybe um messaging this person. This is the page of rise is like a messenger. Or maybe there's gonna be some kind of unexpected um news. with this page of rods it could be from a younger fire sign but this could also be you leo too with this page of rods it's like you guys are really enthusiastic about this person like really excited about this person also too with this page of rods because this is like childlike energy with the page of rods so i feel like this could be you leo it's like you guys are really like confident well some leos are like really confident but it's almost like this like a nervous energy too or it's like you guys are like really anxious about something. So we have the star card. So this could be like a wish fulfillment for someone. Um, to maybe start something new. Like this new person could be like a wish fulfillment for you. Or some of you guys could be doing with the Aquarius. There could definitely be like an Aquarius in a mix. This could be like a friend also too because... Um, the stars card came out with the romance angel cards as um let your friends help you so there could be an aquarius in the mix of all this but for some leos it's like you guys are maybe um anxious or have some kind of anxiety or like scared about maybe possibly being rejected with this four of cups or this could be just someone like a Leo who is who had suffers from anxiety and they're kind of introverted and they don't really know how to move on the situation. But someone's definitely taking action um this month or it just could already happen. So at the bottom of the deck we had the um the sun card. So Leo, it's like you guys are bringing the sun with you, like the warmth, like joy, excitement. Um and the, the sun card is also the soulmate's card too. So some of you guys could be like in a soulmate connection. And then you had the soulmate card for your um, romance angel cards also too. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify some of these cards for you. So 
so yeah okay we had the judgment card so leo somebody came into the realization or it's like someone had to make a major decision in order for them to take action i feel like this is kind of going back to your like your last love reading also too and for the general reading too so make sure you guys check out the general reading for november also too but we had the um the judgment card clarifying the the magician card so yeah So we had the world card. So yeah, like I said, you, you guys definitely need to check out the general reading too. Um, I feel like this is coming, you know, going back to that reading or it's like, um, you know, coming together with this reading. So we have the world card. It's So it's almost like you guys had to complete something. So something is complete. Maybe you guys had to close out a cycle in order for you to have a new beginning, a new passionate beginning with the world card and then the ace of rods. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so we have the Sun card clarifying the um, Page of Cups. So, Leo, it's like you guys are a secret admirer of someone, I feel like. And this could definitely be like a soulmate connection. But we have the Sun card and the Page of Cups. It's like you guys are admiring someone. Or it's like you have your eye on someone. It could be another Leo, too. Okay, so we have the full card clarifying the Queen of Rods. So with this, Leos, I feel like it's like you guys want to take a risk on this Queen of Rods. This could be a fire sign. But it's like you maybe you guys want to start something new also too. This could be the start of a new relationship also too with the full card. And it's like you guys are just going with the full. But I feel like this could be you, Leo, as the full. It's like you guys want to take a risk on this um, new person. For most of you guys, it's like a new person. Okay, so we have the Three of Cups. So this is the four of rising and three of cups. This is like celebration, good time. So yeah, maybe um, this is like the, um, you know, like a happy relationship, a happy, like just good times with the three of cups and the four of rising. It's like celebration. So maybe you're going to be doing like a lot of celebrating with this person. Okay, so Leo's, um, so this could be you, Leo, most definitely with this nine of rods. Maybe you feel defensive and it's, this is because maybe you've been wounded in the past. I don't think this is anyone that you guys were dealing with. This just could have been like a past situation that you were in, like a past relationship or even like a marriage where it's like you got wounded. So it's like now you're going into this situation are going towards this new person person maybe with your guard up especially with this um this nine of swords and then the nine of um rods also too Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups with the Page of Rods. So this is like some kind of 
it's almost like you guys want to message someone or reach out to someone and express emotions this could also be this ace of cups could be like the start um of a new relationship also too but it's like you guys are really like enthusiastic about it also too leos Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles clarifying the Stars card. So maybe you guys were like hoping and wishing or it's like this is, this could be some kind of spiritual thing too with the Ten of Pentacles. This is like a life partnership also too. This could be involving family and this could be like a marriage too. So let's see what this Four of Cups is about. Oh, so we have the Emperor card clarifying the Four of Cups. So Leo's, okay, I do feel like it's almost like you guys are the Emperor. So it's like you guys are going to take charge, but it's almost like the Emperor is like scared or he, he doesn't like to be rejected with this Emperor card. That's what I'm getting. It's almost like this new person or this queen of rods makes the emperor nervous. And it's almost like he doesn't want to be rejected. Or he's scared of, um, you know, of rejection. There's like some kind of fear. Or this could also be something dealing with someone's ego also too. So for your, I mean, yeah, your angel answer card, you guys have meditation brings answers and romance. So for some of you guys, some Leos, it's like maybe you guys were doing some meditation to bring you answers. And for some of you guys, it's like whatever answers you're trying to find, it's like you need to meditate. And you guys have romance. So some of you guys could be entering into a new, a new relationship or just, um, finding romance within the month of November or December. So yeah, that is all the messages that I have. Hopefully these messages resonated with someone. Feel free to leave a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you like to read it. And also make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any more readings.